Hi, my name is Joe, and we're going to talk about uh, we're going to review our engine skills today. And one of the things that we need to do is make sure that everyone that comes aboard our boat has a, the ability to operate the boat under power. We're going to have a laminated card, a little checklist. You can put that up, uh, keep it around the boat, uh, gentlemen. I would. Uh, uh, I would encourage you to uh, go over the checklist with your uh, crew and your lady because if she can start the engine she can come back and get you if necessary. Okay for one thing if the engine is up in the in, in the upward position while you're sailing we're gonna put it down. <coughs> uh, make sure that the engine is in neutral. The engine is in neutral. Make sure that the gas is hooked up. There has been more than once that people could not get their engine started because the gas came off the inlet. It's usually on there and it's it snaps in, but on occasion, either raising or lowering the engine, it might pop off. Make sure the gas is secure. Once the gas is secure, you will have a bulb that you can pump that pumps fuel to the engine. This, you should pump this until it's hard. If you pump it and it <coughs> doesn't get hard, you're probably not hooked up. The thing we want to check on is your dead man switch. We went through the bulb when it's hard. We're going to turn, make sure the engine's in neutral. We're going to make sure we have this at the pre-start. Pull. So after the engine is started, we can back off on the gas, put the engine in forward, and then we control our speed either here on the engine, in some cases with the throttle, or we're going to move to another boat now. One of the other things I wanted to talk about uh, were the engine controls. This boat, although it even only has a 15 horsepower outboard, has the engine control mounted closer to the helm. So on the engine control box itself, again, we want to look for the dead man switch. Now this one has been trimmed and cut off so that it will not interfere. The reason is that you could, walking forward, walking forward, you could not pull this out and then when you wanted to start, and this has happened, the guy panicked, he couldn't find out why his boat, his engine wouldn't start, and it was because he had stepped on and removed the dead man switch. But again, same thing applies. We're gonna make sure it's in neutral, make sure the engine is down. We're gonna hit the choke as on this control, but you need to review on each boat because they're different how you choke the engine whether it's an electric choke or a manual choke. After the engine is started, then you can put it in gear and retrieve your object that's overboard.